we were discussing on uh, uh, EU corporations uh, in this topic. EU corporations on uh, uh, that how should how should uh, the European Union, uh, the states of the European Union, con contribute? Uh, with, we were discussing that we all should know uh, which, what kind of problems, what kind of issues of environment are is are there uh, all around Europe, all around the states of the European Union, not just our own. Of course, it's really really important uh, to know what uh, what happens. Uh, environmentally in our own country. However, uh, we should know all the pr about the problems. So we have to really know what happens in Europe. And then we I would like to move on to the second question uh, we were discussing, that uh, how, can how can we make real, real sustainable energy? The first one was, of course, to use all the alternatives. The wind energy, the solar energy, and I think all of you uh, know uh, these, these, types, these, type of these type of energy resources uh, we could use in an eco-friendly ways. And we also would uh, recommend uh, the government uh, to, go to go for it and use not just solar and wind energy and uh, these kind of things, but also the, the, th the sources of energy which are not really well known. So we should, uh, we should protect nature by what nature gives us. So that's how uh, we would like to uh, put in also wave energy and biomass energy. The first one that we spoke about was more internships and apprenticeships provided across Europe and then will be subsidized by the U European Union. These will give young people experience and it means that young people and adults can share experience with each other and share knowledge. Um, there will also be, and this is our second promise, more education within schools. So young people have a better understanding of careers and a better understanding of other options, not just jobs, but also things like apprenticeships, traineeships, um, etc. cetera. Um, we also want to teach young people about business and entrepreneurships. So if there isn't jobs, young people can learn how to not only create their own, but to become their own employer. The third thing that we spoke about, and this was our most controversial debate, was about the minimum wage. Um, and we finally agreed that within the EU, every EU member state would set a minimum wage and they were presented here to all the other EU member states and they would be voted on so that every EU has a satisfactory, acceptable and fair minimum wage. And this would reduce exploitation um, and kind of corruption within the employment system so everyone is pay paid a fair amount. Uh, hi again. So I like your plan. It's really nice to, you know, uh, further the education of young people and so on. But the problem is, it's not that uh, kids are dumb and that they, they're not smart enough, that they, that they need more education. It's the problem that there's no jobs. And by educating young people, we can't get more jobs, unfortunately. That's the way it is. Um, so to kind of respond to your argument, I'm going to tell you a little bit about two of my friends, actually. Um, so in Lewisham, where I'm from, there's, there is high levels of unemployment. Um, and there's a man, and his name was Jacob Sakil, um, and another man called Chiesa. Um, and both of them, there was no, there was no jobs. They both were st training for degrees, I think it was. Um, they both had GCSEs, which is quite a basic qualification. But both of them set up their own business. Right, and both of them were successful. And it's kind of about educating young people for other options, because it's not always about being um, employed for someone else, but sometimes young people can learn how to be employed by themselves. So one of them had um, a catering business, this was Jacob, um, called American Bites, because it's from America, right? Very exciting, very original um, within the UK. Um, that was hugely successful, because we don't really have that many of them in our borough. Um, and then the second one did t-shirt printing. Again, very successful, um, very popular. And it's kind of education is the key. It's about giving people power because knowledge is power, education is powerful. And to teach young people how to not only rely on other people for a job, but to actually be able to look to, to themselves and you know, provide something, that's absolutely amazing. Um, so for me, I believe that let's educate young people to be their own employers um, as well as you know, be employed for someone else. Thank you. Thanks.